Welcome to St. Vincent's. The first Pioneer Daughters of Charity arrived in Santa Barbara via steamer at 6 o'clock in the morning on January 5, 1858. They came at the request of Bishop Thaddeus Amat to start an English-speaking school. Their new home was the Aguirre Adobe on Korea and Anacapa Streets. On January 10, 1858, the sisters opened the first English-speaking school and orphanage, and thus began the history of St. Vincent's in Santa Barbara. Eventually, the sisters erected a three-story building at 925 De La Vina Street, which housed the orphanage, the school for boarders, and day school for the area residents. After 48 years, the day school was turned over to the Sisters of Notre Dame de Demore, who arrived in 1906. The Daughters of Charity continued the care and education of orphans. The orphanage moved to the San Aguitas Ranch. A new building was constructed. This ministry continued for 30 years. The care of orphans was discontinued between 1933 and 1934 when the trend to place children in foster homes rather than institutions took place. Through the years, the original establishment in Santa Barbara was housed in different sites, but known by only one name, St. Vincent's. The combined school and orphanage was located at three sites, Carrillo and Anacapa Streets, the San Aguitas Ranch, and 925 De La Vina Street. This building still stands at its original location and is one of Santa Barbara's historical structures. In 1936, the Department of Social Services identified the need for an educational program for mentally challenged girls. The Daughters of Charity at St. Vincent's were approached to develop such a program. St. Vincent's transitioned into a training program designed for high-functioning girls 5 to 15 years of age. The educational program followed specialized techniques for the training of exceptional children. In 1949, the school had an enrollment of 160 girls in the main building and three separate schoolrooms with a faculty of 14 sisters and 28 lay staff. At that time, St. Vincent's was one of five Catholic schools of its kind in the United States. For 58 years, this specialized program flourished. During the Second World War, Santa Barbara was the location of Hoff Military Hospital. Among the structures comprising this hospital, were several framed bungalows. After the war, the hospital was abandoned and the government sold the bungalows as surplus property. St. Vincent's School purchased three of the bungalows. These three buildings were remodeled and dedicated in 1949. The film shows the excitement of the children and the sisters observing as the bungalows were moved in sections onto the property of St. Vincent's. The three buildings can be seen at the left in this photo. Santa Barbara and the surrounding communities were very supportive of the Daughters of Charity and their ministry with the young developmentally challenged children. St. Vincent's responded by holding open houses, benefits, parties and festivities for the community and the parents of the children. One of the cherished annual events in the 1950s was the May festivities. The students entertained visitors and displayed their work for all to see. 
A special feature of the afternoon program was the Maypole Dance by 16 children. Miss Jane Timmons, Director of Music and Recreation, was in charge of the program. The afternoon also included team relay races. These events were a great support and encouragement for the parents to observe the physical and emotional development of their children. 1962 was the start of the Special Olympics developed by Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Special Olympics at St. Vincent's was the dream of Sister Alicia Martin. Virtually all of the students at St. Vincent's had never been involved in a track meet or any uh, athletic competition. Competition is not emphasized. It is rather, as the Special Olympic Oath states, to let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. You will witness their spirit and determination. For 11 years, St. Vincent's participated in the Special Olympics. In 1971, boys were admitted to the St. Vincent's Special Education Program. In 1994, developmentally disabled children were mainstreamed into the public school system with special education programs. Over the years, the sisters provided other services in Santa Barbara. For a short time in the 1870s and 1880s, they had the sisters infirmary across from the St. Vincent's on Delavina. Later, in 1918, the sisters established the St. Vincent's Day Nursery at 220 West Cannon Perdido in response to the needs of working women during World War I. It was discontinued in 1977 after 60 years of service, but the building still stands on Cannon Perdido. St. Vincent's Institution played an important part in the history of Santa Barbara. The sisters left memoirs, stories, and letters journaling the days of their early work with their first school and orphanage. The dates of growth and relocation are all documented. From an orphanage, a day and boarding school, transitioning to a residential school for developmentally disabled children, a transitional program for single mothers and their children, a child care center, and today, housing for families and seniors whose incomes are below the median level. All tell the story of the response of the Daughters of Charity to the changing needs of Santa Barbara for the past 163 years. <laughs>